What's going on? Move the mouse back in City Skylines. Let's play Season 10, Episode Number 10, Town of Rosewood. And uh, I thought we could dive into a fun little project today, which is to kind of get this um, boardwalk of sorts going. We wanted to do a little commercial strip down here. Uh, I also, I, I don't know, I, I thought of, I sunk this down a little bit because I know the casino is going to be one of the larger builds. Um, and of course, we got to drop that in the leisure strip. So I, I thought about making a little sunken property over here we'll see we'll see if we stick with that but a couple things we need to talk about before we get going i did one little thing which is not too tricky um i, I built one neighborhood kind of tucked in here between the four lane road and where this uh two lane highway wraps up all around here i think we need one more entrance into this zone at some point like that that's just too far to not have anything so maybe we come in over here somewhere Looks like we've got a little bit of room we can play with. Um, but I, I basically did one street connecting off of here and then some uh, standard residential kind of links around there just to meet some of the demand. Uh, and it did for a little bit, but you can see we're, we're already off the chart. But we've got a lot of commercial demand, and that's what I want to focus in on today. So um, I thought we could do that, and I thought we could do one other thing also, which is to make use of this space that we've got up here. And maybe put our city services up this way? I don't know if that'll... It's not... It's it's parallel to the other ro roads. It's not parallel necessarily to the... Um, the, uh, the map itself. So don't worry about that uh, little crooked... Uh, crooked bit there. But what if we did something like that? Just to kind of put... get We gotta get this stuff out of here. A couple people mentioned... Um, and I don't know that everybody caught it, but I kind of did this on purpose. We have the, the most polluted ground in our map right now where the sewage is being drained into the ground. Uh, and right next to that is the cafeteria. So let's let's get these out of here and let this ground start healing. Uh, we'll pause it real quick. And, uh, and I'm going to come down on this road over on this side. I don't think... Can we get... We can't get on the other side, can we? No. I put that up a little too close... That's okay. We'll move all these over and then we'll get them connected uh, after the fact. I'm going to need to extend that road because I couldn't go up quite far enough. I mean, I guess I could have come down here with it. We've got, what, 1.2 million in the bank? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it up at the top of the map. We'll just come out this way further. I think that I think that makes more sense because that way we can also start to think some sort of transport hub over here. Uh, but yeah, let's 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 keep getting these out of here. Step number one: stay stay focused. Let's see if I can can do one thing before I get distracted. Okay. Uh, one other thing we'll look at too. So we're moving the um, the water treatment around right now. We. We don't need all the, the windmills. We, I want to have them for aesthetics in the final build. But I don't know that we actually need it to supply power. And we certainly don't need it, you know, crammed all in one spot. I think it'll be cool to have a couple up on the hill. Maybe some off in the distance over that way. But, but we don't want them too close to that hill. Because we're going to do the observatory and deep space radar there to kind of look like a little little research station what else do we need to move out we do have the recycling plant here so we can get that out of there the power plants don't pollute I'm not necessarily worried about moving them right now I wonder how this is going to affect some of our garbage coverage I think it'll be okay but We'll see. Uh, I guess we can we can even put them back to back there. So we'll put them we'll put them all the way back on this road. 
So that'll start polluting over here for now until we get up to 36,000. That's our, our bump that gets us the um, water treatment. What's it called? The eco water treatment plant? That's the one that we want, which completely removes pollution. Green Cities DLC. But uh, yeah, 36,000. It's going to be a little while before we get there. This will start to clear up pretty fast, relatively fast, before you know it. That pollution pocket won't be there. We're at 39% ground pollution. Oh, hey, that's not powered. Let's take care of that before everybody complains more. And is the easiest, the easiest way is probably just to do this for now. So that will play. Everybody will get sewage treatment again. We can take a quick look at what we unlocked in the last one. Our level 6 unique buildings. Trains, which we can't hook into just yet. Monorails, cable cars. Uh, new policies, though. These are all... These are actually all really great policies, especially for our build. Um, so let me do this. Bring up policies. Jump on over to city planning tab. Uh, and it's these first, what, five that we unlock here. So essentially what these do is it, there's an upkeep per building for small businesses, for big businesses, so that's low and high density, and then for industrial space. So essentially what you're doing is you're paying a cost per building to double the amount of goods produced by industry to double the sales in low and high density commercial. And what that does is if they double their money, they're potentially doubling tax revenue. So um, definitely worth turning those on. They pay for themselves. They, they are really good. High-tech housing is really useful because it helps increase the land value. It turns homes into cooler, smart homes that raise land value around them. And raised land value helps buildings level. Um, when buildings level, more tax revenue. So again, more money for the city. So you're paying money up front. It is an upkeep per building, but it returns good revenue to the city. Um, and then the last one is high rise ban, which prevents buildings from getting to their highest level. Um, as you provide more services and as land value increases, buildings level up and grow larger. There's ways you can prevent that, but basically high rise ban prevents that last stage of the upgrade, preventing them from getting to their really large forms, which actually we might look at knocking a couple of these down. I think it may not be a bad idea. Because little buildings like that, just, they seem a little large, especially in the context of this entrance to our city. I'd like to have smaller commercial buildings like that, like the cinema. You know, some of these aren't that obtrusive. I guess they're not, you know, they're not bad, but they do seem a little bulky in comparison. But with that out of the way, Let's uh, let's jump over here. We'll keep an eye. We'll check out this pollution before the end of the uh, the episode. We can see that it is already polluting over here, so that means it's working. Um, question is, is how fast will this clear up? But that will give us some nice expansion room for our campus. Sorry about whipping the camera around. Somebody somebody mentioned in the comments they get a little motion sick, and I apologize for that. Um, I try not to, but it happens. So over here, we've got. Let's let's zoom out a little bit. This is kind of connected two ways one to this roundabout over here where we have right now our trams i didn't upgrade that to trolley buses yet that that's going to be a, a switch at some point but that is hooked in over here and then this road hooks in over here from this roundabout um, i think this is going to become another highway exit Th this really is not the final resting place of really any of this maybe some of it, maybe some will work around uh, this was just to kind of upgrade things. I think people were complaining about the, the, the decisions and what would happen to traffic. Uh, traffic ultimately is pretty good, 92%. But uh, but we're, we're going to be moving a lot of stuff around. Hopefully, what we're doing today, not too much. I want to break out the landscaping tool, and specifically the level tool. And I want to flatten around the roads just a little bit. Then maybe we'll even smooth out a little bit after. We might consider a key wall here. Uh, let's do this. We're going to jump around between smoothing, slope, and level. 
So. No, I want to go the other way. I want to smooth out, so we'll have to flatten a little more before we smooth. So we'll probably we'll probably scrape this back down after. But I want to kind of see. I want to I want to give the buildings on this strip a place to move in, a flat a flat place to move in, or flatter at least. see okay. select on the road there change it up every once in a while and then we'll smooth between them but what happens here is if we look at you know the zoning it's kind of small in some of these spots right it should be able to go four back from the road and you can see where we're flattening or where it was flatter you know we're, we're able to do that uh, now, if you make a change like this, let's bring this out a bit from that spot. That should work. We'll head back over to our zoning, and uh, you can see that it doesn't necessarily change what was available. So if we go back into roads... Uh, we'll just do the grass line. Is that grass line? When you upgrade a road or change the road type, right, it updates the, the zoning on that road. And you can see for the most part, we're getting a couple extra squares of zoning. That's actually pretty good right there. So we're, should be okay. Um, but now I can change that back. We might use some sort of decorative road in this strip, but the problem with those, and I've, I've mentioned this before, especially in this build, is roads feel a lot busier when they have cars parked on them. And any kind of grass line, bike lane, uh, tree line streets, they, uh, they remove the parking lane as part of that. Now that's not the case, I don't believe in the four lane because they just replaced the median with a strip of grass. So that doesn't change anything, but it does on two and six lane roads. So we've got a couple different ways at least to get in here for now. The only people that are going to be coming in this road are the ones that live up here and are traveling to this district because of the old town policy we got stamped down over there. Uh, so let's let's just do a comfortable bit of zoning surrounding that area just in case we come up that way. But we're really only going to zone on the strip itself. But I want to make sure that everything that is down here is going to have the leisure specialization. So districts specialize in leisure, more vibrant nightlife, and options for daytime relaxation, re relaxation as well. Um, noise pollution 24-7. So um, when we stamp this down, you want to make sure it's not right on top of your residence. And this looks like it's going to be enough of a, a buffer zone. And we're really going to focus on this, this main center strip here. Now, I didn't go with the, the tourism specialization because that ends up being uh, things like hotels, uh, which are automatically, even at level one, some really enormous buildings. I don't, I don't think they're really going to fit uh, what we're looking to do. So maybe we, you know, let's, let's see here. Let's see what moves in with our commercial demand. Uh, we're on three times speed. We should see them move in relatively quick. Uh, yeah, and they're going to start carving out a little bit of the ground as they do. Maybe we could mix in a, you know, again, a high-rise band, maybe even, yeah, probably a high-rise band. Maybe a high-rise band, um, high-density leisure spot. I don't know how much they vary in terms of the models that they pull from. Let's get this strip watered because we actually haven't been down here just yet with any kind of city services. So let's hook in like that in case we zone on that road. And we'll do the same thing over here. Let's cover that little blob in case. Okay, so they don't have power just yet. Let's bring that down from the neighborhood up here because I think 
We're going to get rid of those today, maybe. So let's get them powered up. Let's see what kind of buildings we've got moving in. We've got nightclubs and restaurants and the Laugh Factory, comedy clubs, the arcade, of course. Um, I think the Specialized, yeah, Specialized already have their highest level. So High Rise Band doesn't really apply. Uh, historical doesn't really apply because they're not going to change appearance. They are the building that they are, and they're going to stay like that. So if you go the tourism route, uh, again, you have these really tall hotel buildings. These, we've got some options for, you know, just a, a leisure strip, an entertainment strip. Um, just official confirmed fire for the day. Hopefully not a big one. Hopefully it doesn't catch the trees this time. Um, but why, you know, hey, why not? They're right there. You may as well, may as well jump over. We'll see. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, so I'd like to come up a little bit past this. I think it makes sense to kind of come, I don't know, maybe there where it starts to, to bank away from the water. Let's do that for now. And that's way, way more commercial than we need. We also have some commercial pockets we can fill in over here. Um, but we're going to move in more residents, which we did which we really need right now, but this will be a good, I think, residential pocket we can start. Not too far from the farm, not too far from this new leisure strip. Let's make a new property in here, though, that hooks in uh, a couple different ways. So let's see here. Let's do a straight road first. I kind of flattened again a little lot here. I'll do something like that. I uh, may as well break out my water and finish what I started. That should cover all that. And then just in case for our casino property. Let's see what that looks like dropped in there. So if we come on over to Uniques and Casino. Get that kind of right in the middle of that road. Let's break out our landscaping tool, and I'm going to smooth before we kind of build up anything else around this. Uh, if we use the uh, X or square button, or right click, I believe, you get a, a little bit different um, smoothing. So one is, one is much simpler, the other one's much more aggressive. Of course, we can change size and strength of the brush also. But that should help kind of ease our transition a little bit. Now, that was too dramatic right there. Uh, let's slope up to here. Just to kind of round things out a little bit so that there's no real abrupt change. I think that works. And then let's get this hooked in in two different spots. So I think we can go can we go a little bit beyond and curve in. That's okay. And then let's hook into this road. So you have kind of this private drive for the casino. Again, we've with the depression here, it shrinking it down a little bit below. You know, it's not it's not at water level. It's not at and I specifically didn't say sea level because this is a lake. It's not at lake level, uh, but it is lower than the terrain that was there. And that just makes it so that it's not, you know, it's not this aggressive structure on our skyline. We want it to blend in. We want it to be hidden in the background there. Uh, but hopefully that will drive even more traffic over here to this area. Um, what we could do. Let's look at what parks no let's look at at uniques for a minute and see what we haven't dropped in which is a lot of stuff but maybe we can work one of these plazas in see that may not be bad that's industry that's way too big statue of wealth at the casino that could be all right i wish i could center it right on there that would be that would be awesome uh city arch 
you know, do we do we arch our entrance? Can we do it? We can't do it over a highway. Ah, uh, maybe it's a uh, a campus arch. Yeah, maybe we do something like that. You're officially entering the campus property. We'll come back to that. Let's do. I feel like this one lined up well with the casino property. Let's see. Even though it's technically, I think about health. Can poor health be something to be proud of? Apparently, yes. Scenic area where people like to visit. Requirement for building the medical center. So, I think that that's just got a nice a nice plaza look. Um, if we want. Let's do this. We'll come just inside the pillar. And then let's do a grass lined. How? Yeah, perfect. Just inside the pillar again. And then that. So now we've got a little crosswalk. People can come into that park. That little plaza, I should say. Um, and then let's do some paths. I think the standard path's going to work well here. And let's turn off snapping. Right, that's off? Yeah, it's off. So we can get right in there. And we'll connect like that. Hmm. Uh, I wish we could get like right on top of that. Will we? Can we? Would actually let us do that? Oh, man. Well, that's better. That works. I like that. So let's get right on top of that again. Do that, and then I'm going to kind of curve it in to blend in with this zoning a little bit. But we'll tuck it in between the two. Uh, I don't think we should have buildings right here on the park. So let's dezone there and there. I think that could be all right. We'll have to keep an eye on what that does to traffic. Right now, there's not enough people. Um, what do we do, you know, back here? I think we need to key wall this. I think just out of, out of pure necessity of, of aesthetics. Let's take a look at it. Let's start right here. Uh, we are in free form and we're, I think... Are these are the snapping options stay off for everything? Okay. So when we do something like this, it should snap that ground up behind the properties. And that looks a lot better. We could even probably get some trees in there. We got a fourth square zoning that we didn't have before on that building. And I think we can stop it right about, right about there. Because that's where it kind of breaks and it starts to curve away from the shore. And we've also got a less abrupt uh, cliffside there. Now, just for a bit of detail work, we might want to smooth this out a little bit. Uh, renowned. Yes, please. We'll go take a quick look at that. Actually, let's go take a look at that right now before I forget. Starting at what? Uh, academic statue, IT, library, school of tourism travel, trade school commencement office. We can start to celebrate people actually graduating. And we've got space, and look at this. Uh, we've also got a lot less pollution over here. 0.39% average ground pollution, so we've just moved it. That's all right. Um, but we do have some nice space over here for some more campus buildings now. Uh, outdoor study we had. 
Is this the gym? That's the gym. We had the cafeteria. We had the fountain. Right? Or is... Which one is this? That's this one, right? Yeah. Okay, we had that one. So let's find a spot for our library. It's a big building. I feel like it should kind of be on the main... Main kind of quad area. Um, I've... You know, come to think of it, I've... I've mentioned the term quad uh, uh, multiple times, and I, I don't know that everybody... I don't know that's a universal thing. I don't even know if it, it's all over the states. So it would probably be nice to clarify just a little bit kind of what I mean there. Um, so in terms of architecture, a quad is a quadrangle. Basically, it's a courtyard, right? Usually rectangular, square, sides of which, you know, are large buildings. Um, quite often... You know, you'll find uh, pedestrian paths and things kind of cutting through the middle. Very common term in uh, college or university campuses. But you'll also see it in, you know, modern office parks with multiple buildings and palaces. I, th I really think that's probably where um, that kind of idea came from, palace courtyards and things like that. But um, essentially, it's, it's a quadrilateral. It's synonymous, or at least in terms of architecture, it was uh, when it was originally... Um, Originally defined. Sorry, we've been staring at the campus for a bit here, but that that's when, when I say quad or quadrangle, I, I don't say quadrangle. I'm explaining it being uh, quad, you know, it's it's the, the, the center square shape of a campus. Um, again, whether it's offices or actual schools, but we'll we'll kind of focus some of the main big buildings around the quad. I think we'll move the calf out of here. This doesn't this doesn't belong here, but we'll uh, we'll get everything dropped in and kind of see where stuff goes after the fact. So we're. Where were we? Uh, this one is the IT club. I find I never put stuff where it goes when I when I start. Uh, I find that the buildings are all we'll go right on the edge of the campus property. Uh, the buildings are all large enough that uh, that it's kind of tough to to put them in their initial spot until you see the space they take up on the map. At least that's how I build. Maybe some people, you know. Count stuff out or, or just have another way of, uh, of doing it. But whatever works for you. We've also got one of the larger schools that we can drop in. This is the School of Tourism and Travel. Interns bring the best out of city attractions and shops. Increasing attractiveness and entertainment of leisure buildings. Hey, hey. Uh, good timing. So income from all commercial zones is increased. Uh, increases campus attractiveness and requires a trade school campus area. So I think this is a good one for... Uh, our map. Man, could we get that in there if we didn't have... We might have to move that gym. So let's come up a little bit so that we can carry this road through if we need to. We'll find a, a spot for that and tighten things up. So there's our school of tourism and travel. Doesn't actually look that inviting, to be honest. Looks a little scary. Um... But whatever, it's going to help our commercial area. So we'll take it. How are we doing down here? Let's let's unpause. Let's go one time speed. Uh, we haven't walked the city enough, so let's walk the leisure strip. Uh, we're going to have to do some uh, some transport options down here at some point. That is some very bad driving from those uh, apparently trucks with food on them does not. Make, make you a bad driver. Get, hey! Seriously? You just drove right into the building. You almost hit me. You, you wanted a burger so bad. So what do we got here? Textures are a little flat on some of these buildings. Like, see, I think they updated some of these and not all of them. Because, like, look at... Like, how close you have to get. Those textures have, like, a very small window where they're in focus. And, uh, and some of them are, are actually much better. I feel like those are newer assets. Do we have two karaoke places next to one another? I wish there was some logic in the game. I mean, they are technically different because one's got a squirrel and a donut and one's got a Fallout 76 head on the top that I think is supposed to be rotating, but they're basically the same building. I, I wish there was some logic to understand where that building occurred and at least spread them out a bit. This is a great spot for a dumpster right smack on a street. Like, I had to almost walk into the street to get around this bush. This cannot be up to code. Yeah. 
It isn't. It isn't up to code. Not here, at least. Not my code. So it's out of here. Um, you know, hey, if you don't, if you see buildings you don't like, ditch them. So this is uh, our leisure spot. I'd be spending all my time at that building right there on the left, the uh, the arcade. Maybe a little bit of time at 5 a.m. Depends on what kind of music they played. That's the the nightclub. Uh, we've run into this before. <laughs> Multiple nightclubs all in the same spot. Leisure is a weird one because there's there's not enough buildings, so you'll definitely get a lot of repeats. There's another 5 a.m. I like the diner a lot, but there's two diners on that block. Three diners, I take it back. Multiple arcades, so you know, we're we're a little bit we're a little bit stuck with uh, with what we get in the default game on console. But uh, there's lots of options if you want to reduce some of the repeats on PC and drop in some uh, some custom assets. This road is pretty long. I don't know that we've we've walked our. I didn't go past the casino, did I? No, we're, we're we're getting there. We're getting there. I just wanted to make sure. It's a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Oh, there's a guy. Jeez, it's right there. Right around this building that... Uh, just because I don't want too many repeats. I'm going to leave you. I'm going to let you go. Hey, would you... Let me just ask you this. Would you be interested in sitting here to eat a nice Italian dinner on a hot summer day with a hot pile of garbage right on the other side of this bush? You think this blocks all the odor? I bet it doesn't. Um, so, our little casino property. I think we could use some more uh, trees, kind of. I You don't want to cut the casino off from a view, right? I think you want to be able to see the casino from the street, but I think it would be nice to maybe cut it off from the residential area and have some more paths through here. So, all right, well, I, I made my long journey over this way. I think it's time for me to go uh, support the economy of Rosewood and put some money back in to the, uh... although, you know what? Come to think of it, actually, hold on a second. These roof lights do not look up to code either, so, you know, we got to... I mean, if they wanted to maybe throw some money into the city to um, maybe get the code changed, maybe we don't, maybe we don't have to demo this building. Uh, but you saw what happened before with uh, a bush that was a little too far out in the street, and uh, and we very very quickly bulldozed it. So uh, I think they should get this building back up to code. And uh, I mean, of course, there's two ways to do that: some very very expensive modifications, uh, or of course you could donate to the city. Uh, and we'd be happy to change the code. So, either way, you know, whatever way you want to go, let me know. Uh, time is of the essence, though. So, uh, so keep me posted, Casino. Appreciate that. So we've got a bit of a leisure strip into our city. Uh, you know, we'll we'll kind of expand that, do some decoration. We've got to drop in parks and uniques. Um, I just saw a footpath down there, and Warren had mentioned in the comments that uh, I had the toll booths uh, up in my residential neighborhoods kind of acting as a gated community but I did not have footpaths and you can see actually here there's some footpaths running alongside because pedestrians can't walk on those those highway roads which is what the the toll roads are so I uh, definitely was underutilizing um, <laughs> my my tram network up there but now lots and lots of people are walking around so if you see things that I'm messing up let me know in the comments down below uh, hopefully you enjoy the video either way you know I'm not perfect I don't do you know, the best builds. I think uh, hopefully you come here to be entertained, to learn something, um, or to just laugh at my mistakes. Not too many big fires, though. I only had one tiny little fire today. And as I say that, I'm going to zoom out and take a look at the, the city to see if karma got me. And it does not appear to. So, um, so that's good. We, we kind of lucked out one little fire. Um, although I feel foolish saying that now because uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to get me in the next episode. I saw those silos just a moment ago. Somebody mentioned uh, on the Discord, I believe, that you could replace those with barns. And they have uh, a little bit more footprint on the road. So same storage for you know reduced truck count, which is good. We'll be working on the industry area as a massive overhaul at some point. 
will still keep going back to detail little things. But, you know, we got a little bit of a commercial strip in there today. Found a little spot for our casino. A couple important developments for Rosewood, at least in my eyes. But, uh, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, likes, comments, and shares, they all help the channel a lot and they're all greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe for more. Consider hitting the bell to get notifications for updates in this and other series. Though if you've been hanging around, you know it's a lot of this right now, but we'll get back to other stuff soon enough. Come on by the Discord. Awesome group of people over there, and regardless of what platform you play on or experience level, if you got a question, probably can point you to an answer. So stop on by there. Great community, fans of the game and fans of the channel. And I've been trying to do more uh, live streams over there. So um, they're very impromptu and unofficial and you can get in voice chat. So if you want to talk about city building, pop on over there and uh, join us on the Discord. New videos, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That's all for today from the city of Rosewood. From here to there and everywhere in between, it's the greenest city that you've ever seen on my channel. Until the next one, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.